Statistics show that the city of Los Angeles collects more than $150 million a year in parking tickets alone. And with 10 million people, that's enough money for them to buy us each a bottle of lube. Because we're getting fucked. So I don't feel so bad about this hack. Let's face it, we've all been hammered by parking tickets. So today, I'm going to show you how to park for free all day and avoid those nasty tickets. I'm Mike Capes, and I call this hack the Brosa Parks. Who is this? If you're like me, you can barely get out of bed in the morning without running into parking buzzards. You know, the you leaving guys lurking around your neighborhood. Are you leaving? God, no! You sure you're not leaving? These people aren't just in your neighborhood, they're everywhere. So in order to save our spot, we combat these assholes by waiting until the coast is clear and then putting out our trusty parking cones. People somehow don't understand that anyone can buy and use parking cones, so they won't mess with these. Just set the cones in your spot and for an added bonus, stencil on no parking because stencils mean business. Nowadays, when you leave your house to run simple errands, it's like the gold rush of the Old West just to get a parking space. People will literally fight each other over a spot. The only difference is, today, they won't just die from the diarrhea they raced to get at Chipotle. So let's avoid that shit and outsmart everyone else. Here are some hacks to stake claim on spots that no one will mess with. Uh oh, you found yourself at a parking meter, and you don't have change to feed it or your debit card on you. Or, it's the only one open and it's broken. Did you know that they still give tickets if the meter's broken? What kind of shit is that? That's like getting charged for porn that was buffering the whole time. If you're ever faced with these problems, or you just simply don't want to pay, you just use an old envelope from a previous ticket you didn't pay. If parking enforcement sees you already have one, they're going to have to decipher if they did it and forgot. Then process the deja vu moment they're having. Is this all a dream? Is this all a dream? Well, no, it isn't. But as they drive around contemplating this glitch in the matrix, you just bought yourself some time, Neo. If you're in a crowded place and you don't want to search for a spot for an hour to get a sandwich that takes five minutes, try this. All you need are some empty boxes. Just park in an alley or a loading zone for this ruse. You leave the trunk open and put an empty sealed box next to your car or on the curb. And now you can go anywhere. And if you really want people to leave this shit alone, just put these signs on the side. No one is going to go near plutonium in a cardboard box. Now this is for when you're at a super crowded place, like a Best Co or a Cost Buy, and there isn't a space in sight. We're going to miss all the good free samples. Not anymore. If there are no spots, we make our own. So let's make an entrance and park front and center. Then put a big red bow on the hood. I know, my bow looks terrible, but the YouTube tutorial I watched sucked a fat dick. What's up with those YouTube channels that don't actually teach you anything? Now, just add the contest sign you made. Make sure you leave your number on the sign. People will text you with updates on your car's safety. If you drive a pile of shit like I do, throw in a free trip to Vegas for extra incentive. And most important, write in fine print that this isn't valid anywhere. No one reads fine print. Contest is overdue. What? Since some of you think I'm a real asshole, as a social experiment, I'd like to try something a little different. So we're gonna do something nice. People hate meter maids. Every day a meter maid wakes up and knows someone's gonna be an asshole to them. So I believe that over time their hearts have shriveled, like an Eskimo's nutsack. Let's start a movement and see if we can't change this. Maybe if we all do something nice for them, it'll benefit us. Maybe they'll lighten the f up. So, have a little gift on hand. Nothing crazy, just re-gift crap you don't want and put it on their windshields with a note or a card. Dear Parking Enforcement, you guys have it rough. So here's a little something to lighten the day. Pay it forward. I drive a champagne colored 2001 Honda Accord EX. Best anonymous Honda Accord guy. All right, we got our daily shit done. And now it's time to drink and hopefully go home with someone. Yeah. 
Here's something not a lot of people know about. You can legally park in a loading zone after 6 p.m. and leave your car there all night. Just be done and sober by 7 a.m. to move it. Now you have a getaway car for your walk of shame. And your space is already waiting for you when you get back home. Great, even after all the kind gifts, I still got a ticket. Well, that pay it forward shit didn't work at all. Now I can't spend my money on sex. Remember kids, don't be a meter maid. Did my boys have to get me gifts for this? No, those are empty boxes. They didn't even get me anything on my real birthday. Grand slam for the birthday boy. Bangarang. And don't worry about the boys not getting any food. They can just imagine it. You're doing it, Michael.